The CDC is now urging pregnant women to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Vaccination rates among pregnant women are low. Only 23% have received at least one shot. Yet pregnant women are at a higher risk of severe illness and pregnancy complications if they catch the virus. Now, joining me via Zoom this morning is local OBGYN Dr. Tiffany Wells with Baptist Health. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So there's another statistic that's coming from the CDC that I wanted to share with our viewers, if you don't mind. So uh, the CDC says 105 pregnant women in the United States have been infected with COVID. Nearly 18,000 have been hospitalized. A quarter of them had to go to the ICU and 124 died. We have seen a dramatic increase, as you know, in Delta variant cases. What are you seeing in the hospitals and among your patients? Oh, doctor, can you hear us? Sorry, I lost connection. Are you there? Yep, I sure am. What are you seeing so in sorry. the hospital? That's okay. What are you seeing in the hospital and with your patients uh, uh, that have caught Delta, the Delta variant? Right, we're definitely seeing a big uptick in our um, in patients that are pregnant with COVID. Um, at any given day, there's at least one on labor and at the labor and delivery unit. Um, I've had patients in the ICU. I know the other uh, physicians have had them as well. And it's just numbers that we weren't seeing beforehand. So we're definitely seeing an uptick and we're seeing um, more severity in our patients than we saw before. And, and would you mind just because there are so many pregnant women and, and, and I get it, right? Because they, they want to do everything that they think is best for, for their, their unborn child. Would you please explain the severity that you're seeing because so many women are on the fence so they understand the reality of what could happen if they get COVID? Right, so the patients that end up in the ICU are often needing very high levels of oxygen. Um, you know, my patient was, you know, barely able to make it through a sentence when I saw her initially. Um, and so we're just seeing, you know, a lot of support that's needed and, and pregnancy, the body has a lot of extra needs to support the baby as well. And so we have to be very, very careful about supporting them and keeping their oxygen levels at a certain rate. And we're not able to send these patients home on oxygen like we can other patients. So their care is very different and sometimes more intense. And then if, you know, the mom starts to fail, then we have to worry about baby. And sometimes we end up with preterm deliveries as a result, which of course nobody wants to have to do that either. So we're you know worried about both mom and baby in these uh, situations. So we asked our viewers who are expecting uh, to submit some questions or even comments. So Krista wrote, for example, that I'm 23 weeks pregnant. I wasn't planning on getting vaccinated until after I deliver and finish nursing. I think it's a personal choice for each individual, but now I'm considering getting vaccinated soon. Obviously, she's been on the fence. Uh, you know, are there any increased complications in pregnancies among women who have been vaccinated? I'm just giving it a second because I know it's buffering. Sorry, you connected again. I'm That's sorry. okay. Any increases in complications among those pregnant women vaccinated? So at this point, we don't know of any um, increased adverse events in pregnancy. All right, Dr. Wells, I'm so sorry. It's just, I, I think she's probably joining us uh, live from her office at the hospital, and that can be a real complication sometimes given the fact that there's uh, just, it's just hard to get that connection. So we'll try to uh, touch base with her and certainly post uh, her comments and the answers to some of these questions online.